What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube video. As you can tell from the title, we have a special guest today. He's a pro athlete. He's from our hometown. He's from Watsonville, California. He came out here today to come work out with us and show us what it's like to train as a professional baseball player so we could see what it's like if we make it to that level one day. Also, big shout out to the boys over at Hard 90 Sportswear. Send us these hoodies. They're pretty sick. We'll drop the link down below. With all that said and done, get let's get into the video. video. All right, so we got the boy Chase here. Introduce yourself, tell us where you've been, where you're at now. What's up, everyone? My name's Chase Watkins. I'm from Wattsville, so about 30 minutes away from here. I've been around the block. I went to Cal Poly out of high school, played there. Then I went to College of Central Florida, JUCO in Florida. And then I went to Oregon State, and then I got drafted in this year's draft earlier this year with the Cubs. Yeah. And so now it's my first pro offseason. Decided to get after it. That's pretty much the rundown on me. That's valid. What do you hey, think, you that's on? Mate, uh, That was good, bro. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing his warm-up. We're going to be doing a recovery day of what a professional baseball player would be doing what does that look like yeah so starting off with the warm-up i'm going to be attacking a few different areas and the warm-up is definitely a great place to get in some mobility work on stuff you need to work on because you're going to be doing it anyway and you need to warm up to throw specifically like the hip area and then some pec stretch stuff coupled with some other activation things and then going in from that we're going to be probably going out to like 180 feet keeping it really light loose arm feeling that energy transfer and i'll kind of explain why i do each of these as we go through it guys <laughs> that part of the video just took us probably 10 minutes to film because we could not <laughs> say anything right i'm filming now because i can't get my lines right yeah keep on can get his lines right we're about to get into it but before we do just come here and show me your ball really quick <laughs> we got a i'm freaking juco bound we got a juco ball here and then we got a got carolina a, league ball we got a beauty it's a minor league that's a league. beast right there step your ball game up buddy. <laughs> so this little girl behind you she just uh, gave me this ball right here as you guys can see it says doo-doo it's a bit bad i just want to just did you get it over there? All right, guys, yeah, so we're, we're getting into the goodie bag right now to see what's going on here. We got, oh, what's this? Uh, this is a driveline pulse throwing monitor. Oh, yeah. So it has this little chip here. Chip. And then you wear it right below your elbow, and it tracks a bunch of different stuff. It has, like, an al algorithm that can kind of calculate what your workload should be for that day. You need to wear it for a good amount to get a good sample size, though. Dude, that's nuts. All right, all right. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be wearing it today, <laughs> and I'll show you guys what the app looks like and what the data it spits out after uh, the throwing session. That's nice. So. All right, so we just came to this little pole right here because Chase wants to do some hangs right now. As you can see, he's literally on. You got, you're, you're a solid centimeter off the ground right now. Oh, that's... Uh, that's 250 on the bar right there. So the first part we're going to do is like some pogo jumps, and I'm just trying to be super loose super elastic and I'm doing them on both legs and then I'm doing them on single legs. This next thing I'm gonna do is like a lead leg block stretch, but it's mainly focused on my pec. I'm gonna be like getting in my like landing position and then just letting my arm hang back and feeling like a big stretch across this area. And I'm just trying to open that area. It kind of helped me get more staff attraction. And I'm moving through the delivery and feel that with this traction of the band pulling me into that into a range I wouldn't be able to get into. This next part, I'm gonna be doing like a knees over toes reach. I think that's the best way to describe it, but I'll show you. So he's here and then I'm touching my back heel with this arm. I'm kind of feeling a stretch across here. That's, That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That is nuts. Yeah, I need to work on It looks that. like you're, you're dodging some bullets right now. <laughs> hey, editing some bullets. Um, kind of like you'll get better as you do it, but like a huge part of throwing, obviously, from what I've gathered, when you like land up so much T spine uh, extension. So like being able to control that range and like not just being stuck here, because I feel like it's almost like a rubber band effect. But. A lot of these things you'll see are, are helping me get comfortable in that crazy extreme range because that's what pitching is, like trying to get comfortable and you know, you take a still of your arm and it's like tilted parallel to the ground and other people, normal people are like, how do you not get hurt? Experiencing your body with those type of movements before you get on the mound. Pop out of your bed right now, wherever you're at, try that stretch that we just did because <laughs> that thing, <laughs> look at Kevon try this. Wait, it's like this, right? Am I touching the ground? No, you're touching your back heel. <laughs> oh. Your back, other heel, other heel, Wait, other one. Other one. Yeah, dude. That one's hard. Yeah, that one's hard. <laughs> Most of you guys have probably done this one. It's like a simple 90-90. You can add some variations to it, though. I'm not the best at it, so sometimes I keep my hands back here. You can even lay down and do it like this. Things you can add is like getting up onto this hip at the end and kind of just feeling that, sinking back down. And when you're pulling this knee, you can kind of try to keep this knee on the ground as long as you can to test that back internal rotation of that back knee but just get get creative with it it'll get boring if you just do it the same way every time but 
This one's pretty simple. There's a ton of videos on it on the internet if you want to look more into it. How many pitches do you have and what are they? Um, this year in college, I threw three pitches. Uh, I threw just a four seam fastball, a curveball, and a slider because who needs change ups? <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, my bad. change up got taken deep. <laughs> no, I've been working on my change up. I mean, it's always like you're always working on certain little pitches, tinkering with stuff. Mainly, I'm throwing like three pitches and I'm trying to work on almost getting a cutter, but then turning my slider into more of a horizontal sweeping pitch. So it's a work in process, but I mean, the game of baseball. So Next one, it's going to be like a split stance on a windmill type stretch. So I just get in like maybe 80% of what my splits would be. Take my uh, arm up and then I just hinge at the hips and turn. We're tied in your last, it's mainly on your throwing arm. It's like super hard to keep it straight. Maybe you need to go get some soft tissue work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some soft tissue work. But, need uh, some cryotherapy. I need to get some crying therapy back. <laughs> I do about like six or seven on each side. For this next one, I like to do it up against the wall because I don't have crazy good ankle mobility. I'm just Basically doing like a groin stretch, pretty important because when you're riding down the slope, if you don't have like range in your groin, you just won't be able to hold that angle and you'll just, you know, turn it over too quickly. You'll just feel uncomfortable as you're moving down the mound. So it's pretty simple, it's just like this. So I'm just pushing my my legs out as far as I can. And over time, you'll get more and more range. If you like slow down looking at, so if you like Jordan Hicks is a good example, I would say, uh, you can really see how active his groin is as he's moving down the mound. and. If you can't control those ranges, like I was saying, you're just gonna have a harder go of it going down the mound. So that's kind of the thought process behind this specific part of the warm up. Oh, hell no. <laughs> this guy's going crazy. Yeah, this one's nuts. That's, that's crazy. Why professional guys. Yeah. Take a peek. Let's see yours, Kevon. He's on his tippy toes right now. Let's see yours. I'm probably, bro, I think my wrist and stuff will break. <laughs> Get up. That's actually not bad. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> Nice. The last part of today's warm-up specifically is a back bridge. Same thing when I was talking about the T-spine extension, being able to stretch that rubber band and have control of that. Also just like fun, break out a back bridge. Okay. Just Still to see what it's like. Yeah, I know. Oh, maybe, nice. maybe not advisable if you're working out in a public gym. It looks like this. Oh yeah, get up there. So then try to extend your arm. Jesus. And really feel that stretch like right here. He just flexed the one-arm bridge. Hey, guys, right now you see this pitcher warming up for the game. What are you doing? You're, doing You're not ready for that at all. Guy, he's hitting the exit. That's crazy, the yeah. <laughs> he's going he extra. He to the mound, he's like hitting the back. <laughs> so I would say probably like two months ago, I looked just like that with the bridge. Um, oh. And it's definitely tough at first. You feel like every muscle in your back is gonna cramp probably, right? Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> my whole back, dude, the middle of my back, is, well, yeah, it was about to cramp. You can uh, just keep working at it, trying to get your arms extended, um, and you can get way better at that. Talk to me, what are we getting done here? Obviously, like, it's good to get strong, and I need to get stronger too, but just working on, like, elasticity of the arm, getting that pop. Uh, a lot of javelin throwers do it. I mean, it just makes your arm feel buttery. If you've never tried it, it's pretty simple. It's just, like, butter. Just popping it off the wall, trying to get your arm to lay back, relaxing it. I used to do like J-bands and a lot of that stuff. I don't do it a ton more, I like this. It's like a little bit more dynamic. Feel the wave through my spine of the energy and stuff. Yeah, give it a shot. All right, so as you guys can see in the back right now, he's throwing some plyos. You guys have probably seen hundreds of plyo routines over and over again. We'll cut that out of the video. Won't put that in. So we warmed up and stuff. Now we're ready for catch play. I'm gonna be working out with a seven ounce ball on the way out. Like I said, probably to 180-ish, just feeling my arm whip, super loose, moderate intensity. Probably switch back over to a baseball. Maybe spin some on the way back in, but pretty simple day. We just got done playing long toss. My arm's feeling nice and uh, buttery. buttery. <laughs> and also, that was perfect buttery sink. taking the new uh, one-liner, it's buttery. He said it real nice. How was catch play? Pretty good. Uh, ball ball got hit off the chest a lot. <laughs> I couldn't body anything up. No bodies over long here. Long distance sliders, frisbees. Yeah, yeah we are throwing frisbees. Sliders, um, it felt great, no bite today. Fastball, and needs a little more life on it. Needs to stretch out the, the latissimus dorsi. Uh, you can roll that out right now.
I was throwing the curveballs. I really thought my whole back was going to fucking spaz out. <laughs> All right, so he just got his data back. So we're going to go through right now and see what's up. So I haven't used it enough to have my max recommended one day workload. But normally it'll have an algorithm after you use it for, I think, a few weeks where it can tell you what your workload should be based on the program you're working on. But it shows you total throws, high effort throws, average torque on the throws. And then each individual throw is tagged down here. That's crazy. Um, and then I'm pretty sure this orange number is my arm speed and stuff. So I think like 950 or closer to a thousand or something is like big league average arm speed. I don't know what goes into that, but a thousand miles per hour. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> don't what, miles what unit that is, but and then it has uh, some other numbers here that I haven't dove into, but that's uh, crazy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's we sick. might have to tap in with this for the next video or something. Yeah, maybe. Some... That's gonna wrap for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, I learned a whole bunch today. There's a lot more that goes into it. You know, we are very stiff and we are very uh, tight baseball players, but. Thanks to this guy, we're what, what, did he, what did he say? Yo! Guys, there's a whole bunch that goes into it, man. A lot behind the scenes. I learned a lot today. Lots of mobility, lots of other stuff throwing-wise. Yeah, leave a comment down in the description if you guys want to see other activities of a pro ball player and uh, other stuff. in his bag, anything shoot. like that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Go follow the boy on Instagram. It'll be right here. Boom. Also, everything's going to be down below in the description, so... Check your boys out, see what's good, and see you guys in the next video. Deuces. All right, guys, so it is now five months later. It is May. We filmed that yeah. video back in December. Yeah. And a uh, little update for you guys. We just finished season. We're in summer right now, almost. We're almost done with school. And we're just on the grind for summer ball right now, just working out yeah. and stuff. That video was so long ago. Oh yeah, God. what are you going to say about that video? Dude, I probably don't even look the same. I can't wait to see how it transitions to now because I'm going to look probably 250. Yeah, right? comment down below if you guys are at this part of the video if we look any different. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to send the video on over to Chase and he's gonna give you guys a little recap of what's gone on in the last five months. Hey, what's up everyone? Chase here, um, currently out in South Carolina playing with the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. A lot's happened since we uh, filmed the original video. It was about five months ago, so finishing up spring training in Arizona, that was great. Coming out here, um, we're already about two months into the season. Got to see a bunch of different states. I've never been to Maryland, Virginia, um, a lot, so. Hope you guys found something valuable in this video to implement for the young baseball players out there or you just found something funny in it. So I don't think this will be the last thing I'll do with these guys. Uh, I like working with them. They're pretty funny and they're super close by my hometown. So I'll give you guys a little outro uh, with a view of our stadium, but uh, until next time. There it is. All right guys, it's gonna be it for this one. If you wanna follow along, my journey, I'm most active on TikTok and Instagram. Hunter and Kevin can put it up here or in the description. Keep balling. See our boy Chase is grinding right now. He's full on just in season. Yeah, make sure you guys check him out on TikTok when he does make that. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Bam.